Hello everybody, this is Potter Brown, and welcome to my blind reaction to the season finale of Death Battle. Pokemon vs. Digimon. Um, okay, uh, don't let the hat fool you, I am not a fan of Pokemon, I'm not a fan of Digimon, I know next to nothing about Pokemon, and I know basic stuff about it, whatever is prevalent online. I know absolutely nothing about Digimon other than it seems to uh, be a similar thing to Pokemon. Um, the hat is actually from one of my uh, loot crates and figured uh, the one that I know more about, I guess, uh, is the one that I'm going to be rooting for. So, why the hell not wear the hat? So, uh, I really have no other use for the hat other than that. Alright, so, let's just get it started, see what they have in store for us. This is the season finale, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be long before getting to getting back into it, but yeah, hopefully uh, this one's good. All right, so I'm just uh, get that there and starting the video in three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lenovo Game State. Before you keep watching, head to LenovoGameState.com and leave a comment to build a video game the way you want it. Just click the nah, I'm just gonna keep watching. Get started, and be sure to use the hashtag GameState on social media to spread the word. All right. Since the darkest depths of the human psyche first created monsters, We've dreamed of harnessing their awesome power, like Red and his Pokemon Charizard. And Ty and his Digimon Agumon. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Alright, so it's a 3D battle, that's good. If you're so it's an trainer and wasted his life doing God knows trainer what, and you may monster realize that you've always wanted to catalog every animal in the world. But that would be a lot of work, so you probably would just bribe a kid to do it for you. So began the story of Red, an 11-year-old boy from Pallet Town. Red's mission was to challenge the gym leaders of the Kanto region, defeat the Elite Four to become champion, and of course, Ash? capture all 100 or is that a different show? known Pokemon. I know to it's Pokemon, this, but that's all. He a partner, a companion, a friend. This must be a new series. Pokemon. For obvious reasons, he or is chose it just the, the game awesome itself? Fire Dragon. It wasn't really a tough decision. The thing is, my dad gave me the name Red, hoping that when I grew up, it would help me have the passion and energy of a red-hot fire. While exploring the world, Red and his Charmander began to grow and learn. Eventually, the little red lizard evolved into the 5'7", 200-pound mighty Charizard. Red's Charizard is his go-to... It's only 5'7"? And he's taught him a thought it was bigger than that. Moves. His flamethrower is hot enough to melt boulders, making it over 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. He can throw Impressive. enemies around with seismic toss, beat the shit out of them with mega punch and mega kick, trap foes in a vortex of flame with fire spin, never miss stars with swift, and bring the heat even higher with the ultra powerful fire blast. Being a trained Pokemon, there are dozens of other moves Red may have taught Charizard, including Blast Burn, the most powerful fire attack. Over the course of their adventure beating mm. up lesser animals, Red and Charizard became more than just trainer and Pokemon. They became friends. And in the Pokemon world, a strong bond between trainer and monster can make crazy things happen. In Red's case, he unlocked the power of Mega Evolution. Mega Charizard oh, that seems gets a major boost in attack, defense, and special attack, making him a far deadlier Pokemon than before. To add even more power, Mega Charizard X gains the Tough Claws ability, increasing the power I'm of the what series is this? But fighting with a Charizard has its own share of problems. Being a fire and flying type, a Charizard is weak to rock, electric, and water type attacks. And if the flame on the tip of Charizard's tail goes out, he dies. Man, that seems like the worst thing ever. I mean, could you imagine living in constant fear that, oh, I don't know, you'd get caught in the rain and die? Fortunately, a Charizard's tail yeah, that would suck. so hot, not even water can douse it so easily. However, Charizard's battle strategy relies entirely on Red's decision and direction. Without his trainer, he would be as random and unfocused as a wild animal. Luckily, strategy is Red's specialty. 
Red is famous for not just his unbreakable faith in his Pokemon, but also his brilliant and sometimes unorthodox strategies in battle. While still only 11 years old, Red defeated Kanto's eight gym leaders, took down the criminal organization Team Rocket, and became the regional champion, all in less than a year. He's good, but he's also got one hell of a Pokemon on his side. Charizards are proud warriors. They dislike fighting weaker opponents and really enjoy a challenge. Many well-trained Charizards have won tough battles against all odds. Ash Ketchum's Charizard defeated an Articuno, and both his and Red's claimed victory in one-on-one -on -one duels with Blastoises. Blast tie? The, the big, the, wa the water turtle that's hard to beat. Which, on paper, should have an enormous advantage. But that's not the limit to the flame Pokemon's feats. Mega Charizard X has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with legendary Pokemon capable of altering the planet, and Red's has even defeated Mewtwo, the most powerful psychic Pokemon known to man. After becoming okay. the Kanto champion and catching over 150 Pokemon, Red and Charizard wandered the world, always training, always fighting, until eventually they stopped at Mount Silver in Johto. Distancing themselves from the rest of the world for no real reason, Red and Charizard stood atop its peak, waiting for the day a new champion would rise to challenge them. Because reasons. Okay, so now about Digimon. One fateful summer I knew a little of the Pokemon stuff, but virtually Kai nothing Kamiya, of what they had said. Or Yagami Taichi in Japan. Okay. Went to Shut camp up with now. his friends. It promised to be a summer of fun and youthful adventures. Then a rainbow hole opened up in the sky, shot Tamagotchis at everybody, and sucked them into cyberspace. Well, yeah, basically. When Tai woke up, he discovered he'd been what? transported to the digital world, where he met a bouncing pink blob that can talk. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Man, this show is weird. That's Koromon, a Digimon specifically created to be Tai's partner and friend. And to protect Tai from harm, Koromon learned how to Digivolve, becoming the fire lizard Agumon. That's more like it. Agumon is a rookie level Digimon with deadly claws and a fire attack called Pepper Breath. Together with the other Digi Destined, Tai and Agumon traverse the digital world, bringing balance to the chaos and destruction caused by several diabolical monsters. Including an Elvis Presley impersonator who was also a monkey. Now let's get some straight, Sonny Boy. I'm the monarch of rock and roll. Your jobs will make me happy. Man, how high were they when they wrote this thing? As their opponents I'd have to say pretty damn high. high. So did the friendship between Tai and Agumon. As their bond grew, so did their power. And Agumon soon learned how to digivolve even further. First up is his champion form, Greymon. Unlike Agumon, who can still pull off the whole cute and cuddly mascot thing, Greymon is two terrifying stories tall and way more powerful. Good luck standing Damn. up with that. Greymon is so strong, he is more than capable of trumping other champion level opponents in combat especially with his trademark attack, Nova Blast. Next up is my favorite, Metal Greymon. This form's got a robot arm and shoots missiles. Metal Greymon also wears layers of Prime Digizoid armor, the hardest metal in the digital world. Since the digital world is based on the real world, all real life metals can exist in it as well, making Chrome Digizoid tougher than the likes of Tungsten, Steel, and Titanium. Shark missiles? And finally, there's Agumon's mega level, War Greymon. Though he's a lot shorter than Metal Greymon for some reason, but it's a small package with a lot of punch. Quite literally, in fact. War Greymon wears two clawed gauntlets called the Draymon Destroyers, weapons which are extremely deadly against draconic foes. To add to his defense, he carries the Brave Shield on his back, which is capable of blocking attacks from other Mega Level Digimon. We've come a long way from the annoying Pink Blob. 
War Greymon's ultimate attack is the Yeah, force. I would say so. Where he puts all the energy from the atmosphere into a big ball of total annihilation. God damn, that is some Dragon Ball Z shit right there. But I was just gonna say something like Digimon's that. Power. The Agumon line is weak to Earth elemental attacks, and too much damage may exhaust him and force him back to a prior form. Also, while Agumon and his ascending forms can fight and think alone, his power comes directly from Tai. Without their connection, Digievolution would be impossible. Yeah, but Tai started off as kind of a selfish dick. He even tried to trick Greymon into Digivolving further, which ended in a skeletal monstrosity rampage. Well, he never wanted to come off that way, but sometimes Tai was just too courageous for his own good. And for those around him, even as a child, his courage was unprecedented, promoting his strong relationship with Digimon in the first place. He's coming! <laughs> Over time, he learned the humility and responsibility necessary to successfully lead the Digidestined against Apoclamon, basically the physical embodiment of the Recycle Bin, and save both the digital and real worlds from being deleted forever. And with the universe saved, they donned suits to become UN diplomats to the digital world. Drugs, man. <laughs> All right, why not? Of course he wakes up. Because it would have happened. Because like it would have happened any other way. Alright, the combatants are okay. set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, we've got all a right. mission for you. Let's get to this first and then pause and I'll give my thoughts. Hey! Do you want to make a video game? Well, then we have a mission for you. <laughs> Lenovo <laughs> hooked up a few former AAA developers with the Lenovo Y series computers. They're making a 3D sci fi tower defense game based on your suggestions and feedback. Your mission is to click the link in the description to go to LenovoGamesDate.com uh, really and leave same as comments on the game. tile, Mission 2, Defend Your Territory. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions to influence and the And they're getting a bunch of free feedback from people. Be sure to spread the word on so. social media using the hashtag GameState. Let's build a game together with dragons or whatever you want. But right now, dragons it's and time for a death battle! And pause. Okay, so, uh, not sure where it's going to go from here, um, alright, uh, was going to say, up until they started introducing all those stuff that, uh, the Digimon team could do, uh, especially all the forms that they could take and <laughs> how powerful and how massive they are, I mean, especially when the and they brought out the one that's 20 feet tall versus the other one, and versus uh, Charizard and Red, and Charizard being five foot eight, was it? Uh, not as tall as I thought that thing would be, but whatever. Uh, but then that that Charizard also has the ability to evolve further, Mega Charizard X or something. I forget what it was called. Um. Meaning it could take on things that have enough power to alter the alter existence, alter the world. Uh, but that, but the Digimon side seems to have those abilities as well. Um, and suppose it's that it's specifically in a digital world, uh, but it does seem to affect the real world as well. I'm not entirely sure exactly what the rules are there, how things would work out there. I have to say, this is a particularly hard one to call. Um, based on everything that I've seen and the abilities and everything that... Uh, is it Greymon? Did the Digimon characters have 
uh, I'm going to say that they have an advantage, and I'm going to call it in their favor now. Um, yeah. That's just the way I'm seeing it right now. Uh, so let's see how the fight goes and their reasoning for one way or the other to see what would happen. All right. And starting the battle in three, two, one, start. There's All nothing right. better than a campfire and a golden, delicious Oh, and this thing seems more intelligent. Of course, they both Who's get their power. Pokemon. Are you going to try to catch it? You killed my marshmallow. And the started. Whoa. All you the can trouble. Talk? You must be really rare. Hey, Agumon. I got some. I choose you. Charizard. Uh, okay. Boy! Okay, buddy, go for it! Pepper Breath! You're like, really? <laughs> Alright, and that form is useless. The graphics are pretty cool, except the dark outline around them is kind of weird looking. Let's try. Mega Punch. Great horns attack. Alright, so Charizard has a flight advantage, but it, he can fly. Uh. Got him on the run. Turn up the heat. Alright, this one seems to. This version of the Digimon seems to outclass Charizard. Keep it up! If only a little, I mean, they're. Exchanging blows pretty evenly. Oh, Charizard getting the upper hand there. Tail whip. Get up, Charizard. Nova blast. No. I guess that's that. It's not over yet. I believe in Charizard. Whoa, he did you fall. No, this is Mega Evolution. Let's go, Mega Charizard. Dragon Claw. All right, so this is in his final form. I have a feeling he'll outclass the Digimon like this, but that guy's got more tricks up his sleeve. Agumon, no! Agumon, warp Digivolve too! And here we go. War ultimate form. What? It evolved again? Yeah! Now you'll see what a real mega form can do. Charizard! Take him out quick! Fire Blast! Dragon Claw! I gotta go with that. Other than the outline stuff, like I had mentioned before, it's just kind of weird. 
That's it! Set him up! Perfect! Charizard! Blast burn! Alright, so Red's got good strategy. There's that, too. Maybe he has a chance here. Oh. We're not supposed to fight. Call off your dragon. My turn. Oh, never mind. Ty, look out. Oh, jeez. Charizard, you okay? Doesn't look like it. Well, my childhood. Charizard may have started off with a mobility and versatility like advantage, well. but the difference in power between the two only grew as the battle went on. Nope. First, when comparing the trainers, Red's bond with Charizard was strong enough to mega evolve, but like most Pokemon, the relationship is still one of master and well slave come on you know it's true i know there's the yeah. bond of friendship and whatever but when red's through with charizard it's back to the tiny spherical prison ty and agumon on the other hand are best friends on equal footing and agumon's fighting power comes directly from ty yeah these kids were called the digi destined for a reason and together they had enough power to stop an attack which could have wiped out both the digital and real worlds and this is the power agumon's using to digivolve Charizard's flame could melt boulders, but that's hardly comparable to Chrome Digizord armor. Hell, Metal Greymon alone is officially documented yeah. as possessing the power of a nuclear weapon. And War Greymon has weapons specifically designed to kill dragons. Honestly, it all comes down to a huge difference between Pokemon and Digimon itself. The escalation of evolution. Pokemon evolution improves monsters in increments, whereas the gap between Digimon forms is often massive and quite frankly absurd. In the end, Red and Charizard mm. couldn't even hope for as much as a tie. The winner is the Digimon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Thor, I'm a 3D animator. And I'm Ben. I play Wiz. You're so, like, nonchalantly like, oh, like, I'm 3D animator. I just animate yeah. this cool stuff. I'm yeah. just surprised. Yeah, he's just I just killed there. Charizard. You're the worst. <laughs> it's his fault. Brutally. Blame him, blame him. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for all of your support throughout the season. It's been crazy. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching this awesome season two finale. We are going to be out just for like a couple months. We'll be coming back with a season three in March. But for the meantime, we want this guy to get some sleep. He works yes. way too hard. We want to try, use that time to get right, ahead. So it won't and, be uh, that long. Great stuff planned for season three. If you want to keep up with us uh, during the break, you can follow us on our own social media as well as follow at ScrewAttack on Twitter or official SA on Facebook and we'll let you guys know the exact date when uh, Death Battle's coming back. Speaking of uh, social media, we've also got our actors, voice actors, social media in the description below. You can check that out. And one of them, Nate Wants to Battle, you may have heard of him, he's around the YouTubes. He did some of the battle music. Nate Wants to Battle, did battle music for Death Battle. It's great. It's perfect. He did, death ba he did battle music for Death Battle Pokemon Battle. Thank okay. you, Nate. We'll see Thanks. you guys later. Thanks. Yeah, Looking forward it. to sharing an epic season three with you guys. Adam Inception. Looking forward to season three. So thankfully it's not like a year away. Lenovo for helping to make this episode of Death Battle possible. Make sure All right. So that was uh, leave your feedback on the tile. Mission Pokemon vs. Digimon. Um, and spread the word. And hey, I actually called one. Uh, I think I may have called a couple of them before. But uh, yeah, that was. Uh, Yeah, the, he was just completely outclassed once that guy took his final ultimate form. Um, especially since uh, it seems that Ty, Ty is it Ty used to? Uh, I think it's Ty. Appears to be used to fighting alongside him. It's like they fight together. That's the whole point of that. As opposed to uh, the Pokemon trainer, which is he's the trainer. He stands. He stands back while the Pokemon does the fighting. Uh, so, yeah, I can see him getting punched like that, getting knocked out, would, getting, getting his ass knocked to the ground would be a very, would just throw him off. <laughs> he would have no idea what to do with that. 
But yeah, that was also a pretty brutal death for the two of them. Slash to shit for Charizard, and then the both of them just disintegrated. Uh, so yeah, you know, let the fanboy rage. Well, not fanboy, let the fans rage as far as uh, Pokemon fans. Uh, I am really neither, so it. <laughs> I'm not upset at this at all, like, other than just the fact that I wore that hat for nothing. Alright, so. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'm just going to end this one here. Until next time, see you again in March for, uh, for Death Battles. Take care.